upset. Yeah, good job. At its national training facility, the CNIB Guide Dogs program expects to graduate 15 guide dogs this year. It wants to increase that to 150. That requires getting more dogs and more money. Every week we're receiving new applicants, so our backlog, we're not going to be able to um, get out of our backlog for a few years. The demand for guide dogs raised and trained in Canada is at crisis levels. This high-profile ag campaign is one example of CNIB's fundraising efforts. It's a big organization with a lot of programs and financial statements don't break it all down. But overall, in 2021, CNIB received about $29 million in donations. It spent $15 million raising those funds. Add in overhead expenses, and for every dollar raised, about $0.52 cents went to fundraising costs. Only $0.46 cents goes to the cause. The rest is going to fundraising, primarily. So you as a Canadian need to ask, is that reasonable to you? CNIB says the figures are accurate, but that spreadsheets don't tell the whole story and that attracting new donors is expensive. You have to invest money to get money. Guide dogs cost at least $50,000 to breed, train and match. Getting one has changed Jody Laycock's life. That's a huge amount of money. So without the donations, it doesn't happen. And there's a high demand for assistance dogs. The fact of the matter is that there are a number of schools across the country and collectively we would not be able to meet the demand out there. This guide dog user says finding ways to attract donations is critical. Good boy. And so is spending the money wisely. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan.